G'day fellas and welcome back to another casted game spawning in over on the west side of the map. We've got Blue Elefanto playing as the Delhi. Uh, going to be opening up with a scout here and we are of course on the map Nagari. Uh, his opponent going to be spawning in the opposite side of the map over on the east corner. It's going to be Lee Nock playing the Chinese. Not opening up with a scout in this game but uh, heading over towards Lumber. Six villagers at the moment drop down on the Lumber camp. And he is going to be looking towards expanding on the ocean. His opponent as well. Going to be doing something similar. Four villagers over on that lumber camp at the moment. How many villagers on food? We've got one on food. And then we've got one uh, one heading out towards the middle of the map. So looking to place down that dock. Now, both players here probably going to be looking to expand towards the middle. A beautiful shoreline here for Lee Nock. We'll see whether he looks to expand that way or whether he looks to actually ignore the water completely. In fact, I don't think he's going to be doing that, but he is looking like he's going to be heading up towards the north and taking a corner for himself. So this is very curious. Now, obviously, he's playing up against Delhi. This map is Nagari, and Delhi is considered to be, in my opinion, one of the best hybrid civilizations that there is. I know a lot of people have different thoughts about the way that, uh, that Delhi, you know, works at the moment. There's a lot of bugs, obviously, for them, but... Realistically, I think they're quite strong on a lot of these maps, but Blue Elefanto gonna be finding his enemy's villager already, so Lenok gonna be in a bit of a difficult spot. You can see he's trying to get up here, looking to place down that villager or that uh, that dock, but my fear is that he's gonna be able to animation cancel this, and that's exactly what he's do doing. Look how much damage is coming out on this villager already. The I don't think this dock's gonna get up, it's gonna be close. We're only 1 minute and 40 seconds into this game, but already we got ourselves a little bit of tight action. Does it get up? It manages to get up, and that villager evaporates. Lee Nock commits to the dock. The dock does get up. And now we've got ourselves a race, ladies and gentlemen, because Blue Elefanto, he's going to begin slowly sieging down this dock. You can see it's already got two fishing boats in the queue. Now, interestingly, Blue Elefanto, Blue Elefantado, Blue Elefanto, I'm not, we're just going to call him Blue Elephant. I think that's probably the easiest thing. Blue Elephant. Uh, so he is uh, opening double scout. And one of the things to note is he actually was scouting down towards this direction as well. So he was looking at the corners. So one of the things to note is that obviously there's a lot of fish in this sea. Okay, but as you get further and further to the middle, it's going to become less and less efficient. Now, obviously, this fish does respawn, so eventually you're going to be able to take back, back this deep water fish that's here. You're going to be able to double dock on both sides here, so you're able to dock up this side, and subsequently you're able to collect it from this angle as well. But keep in mind, it's not uh, it's not overly efficient uh, resource collection. It's not like every single resource is right here next to the dock. Now, why am I mentioning that? I'm mentioning that because it's actually possible if if what you want to do is forego the middle, uh, but th there is a caveat to that, and that is that there you need to transition. It needs to have a... There needs to be a window. So, basically, the best way for it to work is if you can actually expand. So, as Lenok is doing, he's expanding up towards the north. It needs to be expanding towards the south as well at the same time. So, diversify his holdings. Don't put all his eggs in one basket. He needs to be expanding out onto the deep water fish in both of these corners, and he needs to transition into a land-based economy. So he needs to acknowledge that his fish is not going to last forever, and subsequently he has to begin investing in the land. So whether that means he looks for a two-town center or even a potentially a three-town center boom, that is always a possibility. But he's going to have a bit of trouble out in this early game already, so looking to probably lose this dock, unfortunately. So Lee Nock, you know, he's done a great job getting out five fishing boats, but realistically, this dock is going to be getting sieged down ever so slowly. So look, even a single spearman out here would be able to stop this, but then he really got to beg the question, you know, is, is it worth it to do it and look to be honest you probably would have been worth it but it's so hard trying to fit that into the build order Lee Nock now with the Imperial official out going to be sending out another villager is he potentially looking to get another maybe even sneak a dock up here it's going to be tough Blue Elephant's got a lot of line of sight maybe could potentially go up for this corner instead uh, the, but the villager is just heading it's just beelining straight for it so I don't think he's really mucking around look when it came to uh, the first the first uh, villager that came up here it barely managed to get that dock up so look I don't think he's going to be able to get through two scouts but we'll have to see exactly how he manages to do it. A lot of fishing boats coming up in the middle as well. Now, the reason why I wouldn't expect Lee Nock to contest the middle is just simply because of the power uh, of the fishing boat. But interestingly, he's actually just gone for the middle. He hasn't even gone for the corner yet. Uh, so very curious decision from him. That that dock is burning down. His village is just hanging out at the moment, just sitting idly. So one thing to note is he's actually behind a tree here, so or a forest rather. So this will block the line of sight from these uh from these scouts so a lot of investment in 
uh, in early game time has come into these scouts on this dock. And you can see the dock, he's going to get burned down here just shy of five minutes. So a pretty nice investment in resources there from Blue Elephant. But now take a look. He's just camping here, just sitting and waiting. And such a smart move. If I was him, I'd probably be giving over these two sheep over to this scout and just leave this one here for the rest of time. And now <laughs> look at Lee Nock. He's like, yep gonna do the old cheeky but then blue elephant running out straight away getting onto this villager and lee knock having a bit of a tough time because his enemy he's gone for the dock in the exact same spot very very cheeky from him i don't think his enemy's paying att attention i think he's called out but I, we don't actually see the uh the villager being animation or the scalping animation cancelled here so he's having a bit of a, a fine time here the villager's still gonna go down no matter what i don't think there's any distance uh, that he can actually run there without that one happening so he, he's gonna look to get to have the villager back towards the town center but in reality i don't think it's going to be successful honestly I, I would have probably just taken out the two sheep and then just deleted the villager honestly at that point point. and this is what i was talking about as to why you can't really challenge the middle so if your enemy finds out that you're expanding just like lee knock was will they just bring over three fishing boats and that is more than enough to out dps the healing of the dock but the big thing here for lee knock is that he's going to be able to reach the next stage and this this is all about getting a junk in here so he's already got the two fishing boats here that are going to be able to help heal and i Ideally, he just wants to make it so that his enemy has to actually force or just has to have a response. He can't sit here. He can't just be allowing his enemy to have this freely. Because right now, Lenok gets this pawn and he gets it freely. He gets to do anything he likes. He's absolutely fine with that. Whereas now his opponent, Blue Elephant, he's going to have to actually get Dow's out. And he's going to have to get more than one. He's going to have to create a second dock. He's going to have to change his whole game plan based on what Lenok has done. Both players now aging up at the exact same time. Uh, we've got the first junk coming out. Fishing boats do fall back and they say, oh, all right, well, we have got to get serious about this. We've got a Dow coming out in response. A second dock going to be going up as well for Blue Elephant. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. He's forcing a response and he's saying, all right, well, now you're going to have to deal with this. So whether we see a second dock potentially coming down from Lee Knock, what he's doing, though, is distracting his opponent. And that is the smart move. Junk going to be coming out now. Going to be putting a little bit of DPS out onto that scout. Scout manages to get away. Still got 79 health there and going to be pushing over towards his enemy side of the map. Obviously, the Dow is going to come out and provide a little bit of uh, of uh, of pressure towards him and he'll undoubtedly move back towards it but going to be able to get a bit, add a bit of damage on the fishing boats we can see they actually fall back now uh, as that Dow is uh, looking to overextend potentially here you got to be careful Dow Dow actually going to get chased down he might be in a little bit of strife here I don't think this Dow is too long for this world unfortunately it looks like he is turning around and he's just going to give it up unfortunately so a little bit of a misplay there from Lee Not. keep in mind these players are very high ranked Lee Not currently ranked 15 uh, for anybody unfamiliar with him he is a Starcraft 2 legend I'm not kidding you guys I used to watch this guy back in 2010 I remember going down to Phillip Island to watch the MotoGP with my cousin and I was laying down on the couch while we were, you know, sort of uh, recovering from the MotoGP in the day and I was watching the GSL, which was at the time called the GOM StarCraft League and I was watching Lee Nock play it. He was incredible at the time. He was 15 years old and he was this young upstart kid who had just so sort of come in and he was taking it to all the big dogs that had sort of only started adapting to StarCraft 2 because the game had just come out. But now Lee Nock in Age of Empires 4, it's a pleasure to see him over here and he's doing absolute work now, trying his best to deal with his enemy. You can see the, the, uh, the doc is going to be healing him up so he's going to be able to hold here now i would expect we've got fishing boats potentially coming out actually we've just got more dows going to be heading down this direction so what are the players doing behind this so lee knock obviously he's aged up he's got not looked for a dynasty at least just yet he's got the three imperial officials out going to be dropping down a mill as well so what kind of upgrades have we got we've got the plus one uh for mining plus one for wood cutting and he is getting that mill down so i would expect he probably looks to supervise it potentially getting that wheelbarrow maybe into that early uh what is it called horticulture so huge stuff for him. Also getting a junk out in the north here. So it's going to secure this up. Basically make sure it is going to be guaranteed safe. I would have loved to have seen from Lee Nock actually expanding down to this uh, pond as well and really looking to, to take advantage of that because his opponent is going to be able to use or utilize this food in the early game uh, but also in the mid game whereas Lee Nock is sort of going to be running out you can see he's got plenty of fishing boats up here 11 fishing boats this is probably only going to last him about 10 minutes at most and obviously he started up at about four minutes five minutes that sort of thing so by 15 minutes another six or so minutes he's going to be completely out blue elephanto blue elephant uh, aging up now going up with the house of learning going to be starting up with <laughs> with hone blades the 17 minute uh research time on that one is uh uh, look, it's it's a little bit difficult to uh, to to uh, to want to research it when it costs that much. Uh, the, this the what he should actually be doing is just evacuating his uh, his mosque if he really wants to be reducing that time down. But now uh, also got the double blacksmith up, so going to be getting force march, going to be getting plus one bloomery 
uh, going to be coming in here. And uh, we'll take a look now whether we've got any backlers coming out. I don't think we do because the uh, the Doc has been secured of his opponent. So Lee Knock now uh, going to be aging up as well. And we did indeed see the uh, mosques or the scholars now going to be evacuating. And you can see Own Blade Scosh, it takes 22 minutes. Is that is that accurate? That seems like it's an awful lot of research time there. Uh, more mosques coming out now. So a second mosque uh, with the scholars heading out in all directions. So they're looking to pick up their relics, looking to take the sacred sites. We've got relics down towards the south. How many have we got? We got one, two, three down here towards the south and one, two up towards the north. Uh, so we've got one scholar heading up to what appears to be the sacred site. And we've got scouts yelling out right now as they head in. We've got the astronomical clock tower going down for Lee Nock at this point, and he's sticking to one base, so he hasn't added in that second town center just yet, like I alluded to. Uh, gonna be happy just to stay on the one town center and obviously just utilize this water uh, economy in the meantime. And now adding in that second dock that we talked about, looking to get a couple of fishing boats out there, sacred site being captured for his opponent. So Blue Elephant really getting into the mix of it all. No dynasty has been added just yet, but a lot of villagers on this. Now, Lee Nock may not have got the message, but... Uh, Springles have been nerfed in the most recent patch, so you don't want to just be spamming out Springles. He's got a lot of villagers that are sitting on gold at the moment. We'll have to see exactly what he does. Maybe he potentially goes straight into Fire Lancers. Who knows exactly what he does? He could maybe even go into Nest of Bees. I really don't know. I'm curious to see what he actually does. Uh, I, I, this is the this is the new China, so we're going to have to see exactly what he's uh, he's getting himself into. That is for sure. Scout going to be heading out and looking to get a little bit more information. No professional scouts coming out for either player. Obviously, no real need, just simply because there is so much fish on this map. So We'll take a look over at Blue Elephant. He is adding in a double uh, barracks here. Looking to get in at some uh, men at arms. So no surprises there. He's actually got the triple barracks up. Going for the quadruple barracks. How many barracks are we talking about right now? Yeah, four barracks, two docks, two mosques, and two... Why are scholars... Oh, the scholars are inside the mosques. That's why they're considered... Uh, military buildings. I'm still curious. Why, why is a, a mosque considered a military building? That should be like a... I don't even know. It should be like a, an upgrade building. I don't even know. Uh, sacred site getting taken down towards the south. Another relic going to be picked up here as well. Keep in mind these scholars do move only at one movement speed. I guess he's yet to get that super speedy upgrade right now. Where is it? I don't even know where that is. Is it this one here? Uh, there's some upgrade that you can get, and it, they move incredibly fast. Uh, we've got that uh, wolf being denied now. Up towards the north, we've got the scout beginning to deny that sacred site as well. And now we've got quadruple stable coming out from Lee Knock. Lee Knock, you cheeky little devil. What are you doing up here with your quadruple stable? This is pretty big. Now, I don't think Blue Elephant has actually spotted this one out. He does have scouts on the map, but uh, I don't think he's actually... Oh, th there's the scout coming in on the backside. I don't think he's actually coming to the front side. He's going to run into the town center. He's going to spot the first of the stables. He looks like he's trying to get in around. So he spots the one stable. Now, that one stable to him could just be like, oh, you know, he's just going for... It's it's one potential stable, but he's going to look to probably loop around here. We'll have to see exactly whether he spots it. He spots the double blacksmith. Now, that should be a giveaway that a potential attack is incoming. Loses the scout as well. Only spots out the single stable, so doesn't know the quad is here. Uh, this could be damaging for him, so we'll have to see exactly how he plays it. Wall's going to come in now for Blue Elephant as well, looking to secure up the south side of the map. Lancers are out, so he should be able to expect that something is coming, but uh, as, as I said earlier, he did only spot this one stable, so yet to really realize that the transition may be potentially coming in. Got to be careful, this Lancer is going to go down. A lot of men at arms here. They did charge in with their force march quite quickly, but uh, I don't think Blue Elephant has actually spotted this one out either. Uh, so he could very, e very, e very easily rather uh, siege this down if he wanted to. Three Lancers now going to be coming out as well. Could be neutralizing this sacred site, but not choosing to do so just yet. A little bit of miss macro, a little bit of miss micro, and now looking to continue walling up towards the north here. Very curious walls as well. So not looking to wall the choke point, actually just walling across walling out some of these gold mines as well. So he could be going for like a straight wall down, but instead choosing to elect to include some of those walls in here. So now I'm going to be taking that sacred site towards the north. We see the men at arms beginning to wall up across this uh, this choke point here, doing a pretty decent job opting for a gate as well. No compound of the defender. Keep that in mind. He did go up with the House of Learning here. It's going to be a very slow... Own Blade's only eight minutes. That's, that's actually not too bad. That is uh, that is definitely come down in the time taken required. So he's got three relics that he's picked up so far. Sounds like a fourth one has just been picked up. Where is that? Probably up towards the north, potentially? I don't remember exactly where it was. We'll have to have a look. I'm looking on the map. I'm trying to spot it for you guys. I can't see it. There's a relic there. There's a, is, that, is that the fifth relic? That's got to be the fifth relic, right? 
That's, that's a lot of relics. I'll say that much. He's doing a great job. Actually, I think that, that's it. No, he's probably just picked one up from the mosque. Maybe a little bit of an accidental right click there. Uh, that's going to be slowly getting rid of his uh, his gold trigger. But now we've got the uh, the knights or lancers beginning to run in on the villagers at the back line. They're going to have an absolute field day here. Forcing a fair bit of idle time here. That's a lot of villagers in there. 15 villagers every second that goes on. They do get an idle second attributed to them. Uh, and at the same time, we've got this scout that's providing intel to the lancers. So going to be giving a great idea of what's going on. And now we've got the men at arms getting attacked by the wolves. And uh, they're going to be having a great time down here. So no war junk coming out. There's the war junk though. So this war junk needed to be out a little bit earlier and then we would have had absolutely no problem down here. Attacks happening all over the map. Men at arms up towards the north in the base of Lee Nock, down towards the south in the base of his opponent. There's just absolutely, there's chaos everywhere. Both the sacred sites now going over to Blue Elephant as well. Villagers continuing to be trained. No dynasty coming through just yet either. At least not that I can see, but you guys know I am <laughs> legally blind. I love to make that joke. At least I feel like I, I make that joke about three times a game. Um, not going to be able to get this dock up, but uh, unfortunately, he's going to need to send a villager down here to uh, to get that dock up. But obviously, his opponent has managed to wall this up, so it's going to mean he's in a bit of a difficult spot. Look at all these lances coming out now from Lee Nock. He's doing a great job with all this cavalry. I would love to see him beginning to add in some fire lances, uh, and that would really start to compound things. Uh, keep in mind, the fire lances are very effective against almost all units, uh, with the exception of spears, but keep in mind... Jelly Spears actually can't brace. They are bugged at the moment. So there is a potential window for him to actually hit with those Fire Lances and really create quite a lot of havoc. Lee Nock beginning to pull ahead and score at the moment, sitting about 500 score ahead of his opponent. Do we have the double upgrade? We do have the double upgrade. And Lee Nock stacking up a lot of resources. You saw just... He, he spent a thousand food. I'm not sure where it is. And there it is. Actually, the Imperial Palace coming in. So that was where that thousand food went. He's going to be dropping down the Imperial Palace and looking to potentially go into Fire Lances here. A little bit of a charge coming down towards those men-at-arms, but they do fall back behind the walls. Plenty of action all over this. And I tell you what, I would be pulling out my hair at this point if I was Lee Nock or Blue Elephant. These guys are absolutely playing out of their minds at this point in time. This dock is still sitting up at the moment. No villagers coming through just yet. More raids up on this north side. And keep in mind those hardened spearmen are out. Do we have veterancy coming through just yet? We'll have a quick check. No veterancy coming through just yet. It's going to take some time. Oh, actually, there it is. I do apologize. Veterancy is now coming through. We do have an age up that could potentially happen. A lot of resources being stacked up by Blue Elephant at this point. Going to be aging up with the Hussar Academy. Uh, I believe this is what. One of the bugged landmarks for the deli, but saying one of the bugged landmarks for the deli is like saying one of the landmarks for the deli. They've just got that many bugs on their landmarks, unfortunately. Nice little wall coming in here from Blue Elephant in the meantime as well. Doing a great job of forcing his opponent to continue pushing in. A lot of men at arms here. A huge amount of men at arms here. Uh, so I would love to see more fire lances coming out. What do we got? We got some Fire Lancers out on the field. Looking good. Uh, we've got 74 villagers at the moment for Lee Nock. His opponent currently sits on 68. So relatively even Stevens at this point in time. Looks like a, a wall does uh, does come down. He manages to, to scrape a hole. And you can see the villagers trying their best to get through here. Not going to have too much luck. And now we've got the Lancers beginning to build or to uh, burn that hole in the wall. A lot of uh, a lot of spears or rather a lot of men at arms in here uh, for his opponent. So Blue Elephant really trying his best to hold on. And now, finally, those villagers are going to be able to get through. Keep in mind, they do have the Yuan Dynasty bonus, so they're going to be pl there's going to be plenty of speed. They're going to be able to bust through there like uh, like a, a, a linebacker. Is that the right term? I don't think a linebacker, maybe like a halfback. Is that what you guys have? I don't even know what you guys have got. But Fire Lance is going to be coming in, cleaning up that mess completely. Uh, have we got plus two upgrades? Let's take a look and see what we've got. We've got full plus two upgrades, no range upgrades just yet. Fire Lance is looking incredibly strong. <laughs> look how fast they siege through that wall as well. Blue Elephant hitting the Imperial Age. 18 minutes have been an action-packed game so far. i got to say, I'm enjoying the crap out of this game. You guys know I love to see the Chinese. I love to see the Delhi as well. Two civilizations that really aren't picked as much. Well, you know what? The Chinese are pretty much picked every single game now, so you can take that back stronger. But the Delhi in particular, they're a bit of the underdog civilization. Now we've got that, uh, that dock going to be going down. Not a lot of fish up here, so he needs to get down here, secure up uh, this position, you can see the villagers moving down here towards the south. Going to be looking to add that second dock in and now towards the middle of the map. Look at this cavalry mass beginning to build for Lee Nock. He is sitting on right now 37 cavalry. I'm going to do the maths correctly. 36 cavalry, so pretty darn close. A lot of spears coming out as well. He's got to be careful here because if these spears get connected with the fire lances, they are just going to evaporate. We see the lances running in. He didn't actually get the charge off there, so Lee Nock not paying, paying attention. He needs to attack, move them to get that charge out. You can tell the difference between the charge and no charge because the lances 
Rose will be carrying their spears up in the air versus forward. So ideally, he wants to try and get away from his enemy so he can actually come back in with a charge. There is a minimum charge distance that needs to come out. We see that beautiful mosque there sitting in age four. So hopefully he turns around and actually manages to get those charges in on his opponent, even with just a few of those fire lances. And now looking to come over the map and look at these quick walls coming in now from his enemy. Blue Elephant really trying to stay alive. And now we've got those fire lances doing their best to get in a bit of damage, looking to find some buildings to torch. The Hussar Academy is up right now. Let's see if he spots this and decides to go for it. Towards the base, though, we've actually got another raid that's coming in. More units looking to potentially take down the men at arms we'll have a look at as they begin to explode and look at that juicy explosions happening right there and uh lee knock looking pretty good at this point his opponent up by about 400 score but this is an absolutely action-packed match considering these two civilizations they aren't notoriously aggressive civs but these two players are obviously playing notoriously well considering just how good they are all right so now more quick walls coming up look at the quick walls this is truly the match of quick walls right now lee has got to be careful he might get walled in here not that it's too much of an issue because i tell you what having these uh having these uh fire lances you're going to be able to burn through these walls so quickly and now fire lances looking like they might be in a bit of trouble here as the veteran spearmen look to get the surround we can see they're just coming around from all parts of the base uh so many spears out and about now for blue elephant he's doing his best and obviously playing in the color blue as well he is role playing uh his job as the blue elephant could potentially burn through this wall as well but not really looking for it at the moment just sort of looping around and trying his best to to distract his enemy and i think he's doing a pretty decent job of it i wouldn't be surprised if he's just shift clicking around the enemy base at this point because uh the, these units i'm sure he, he realizes that they're they're not going to be able to survive not against this many spears there's just way too many and look at all the spears that are coming out now for lee or for uh blue elephant as well so he's going to be in quite a decent spot here in when the uh when this actually gets shut down and now looking like he might be able to pinch them towards the corner more spears moving up and i think he might find have it he's probably just gonna have to take this fight and blue elephant looking like he's probably gonna be cleaning this up completely absolute destruction coming out beautiful blocking happening right there he actually gets the force march in onto the corner really well done and now gonna be shutting that down completely what a beautiful play there from blue elephant and really demonstrating why he's currently ranked 12 on the ladder absolutely outstanding play more spears now coming across the map as well and it looks like he's just going full spear at this point we'll take a look and see what his production looks like right now so sitting on 11 barracks at this point in time he is just going full spears you can see he's upgrading to elite spears as well uh, slowly this wall is getting sieged down we've got some fire lances out here doing what they do best sieging things down gold vein down towards the south here this is a large gold vein as well uh being being empowered by the uh excuse me being empowered by the imperial official the mining camp is so gonna be worth an extra uh 1600 gold there managed to get this dock back up towards the north now the docks down towards the south are probably going to be going down and this is just absolutely ludicrous hold on i gotta catch my breath here guys Jeez, louise this is a this is a hell of a game Jeez, I, I wasn't expecting this when I came into it. I'm like, ah, you know what? Delhi, China, Nagari, we're probably going to have like a camp fest. We're going to have like 14 town centers for each of them. They're just going to be building villages. Nope, nope, nope. These guys are absolutely fighting there. They're, they are fighting as hard as they can. Lee Knock now hitting Imperial Age. We'll take a look and see what he looks to tech into. We'll have a look and we have the Elite Fire Lancer upgrade coming in. No surprise there. I would expect that we have a university coming through soon as well. Uh, potentially looking to get that biology upgrade. A couple of, a couple of sneaky spies up here. Sneaky spy sheeps for Blue Elephant. Not really spying out much, though. And now beginning to push towards his enemy base, towards the north of this lake. Uh, we'll take a look and see. Is he empowering up uh, the upgrade? So he should be empowering up the upgrade. So you find the one that's got, got the upgrade coming through, this one right here. And then have your Imperial official actually supervise it. That way that upgrade comes through extra fast. Uh, so technically, e even though... Um, even though the, the spears do technically counter the fire lances, uh, fire lances should actually beat them. Uh, but not if they do this. They need to be charging in. They're not they're not charging. So he was just he was just like he was just moving them in. They're gonna get completely shredded right now. Lee not not looking good right now. He's he's gonna be knocking on heaven's door if he's not careful, that's for sure. Fire lances finally gonna be getting in a little bit of a charge. All of these uh, clockwork nester bees are gonna be going down. Does he have the upgrades through for them? He does have the no, he doesn't have the reusable barrels just yet. Manages to get that keep up on the front line. It's not a particularly good keep, not guarding any Thing, I would say gonna get a nice charge up here so keep in mind when you are using those fire lances you have to get that charge off that is where all of their power comes from it it really compounds just how much damage they do and now we see the elite spearmen looking to actually get through here they kind of look like samurais if you've ever played age of empires 3 they got the exact same aesthetic as the as the samurai okay they've pulled their spears out now so <laughs> they're not looking like samurais anymore slowly gonna be working down these palisade gate and now Lee knock looking to push out he's had enough 
Uh, Fire Lancers looking pretty strong as well. We'll take a look at the upgrades that they got. They are full 3-3 upgraded at this point. No, um, we, we don't actually have any form of... Uh, any form of ranged armor, but have a look at this. The castle actually went down. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure exactly what did it. And now we got Fire Lancers beginning to come in, just taking the rain as well here. Nest of Bees really demonstrating their strength, and we have got a beautiful Chinese army right now coming down towards this south point. Uh, a lot of uh, spears out here as well. Now, one thing that scares me is a potential ta attack on the north side. This map is definitely one of those ones you've got to be careful. You've got to really balance your army out because if your enemy looks to push you at a certain point, they can always come around from the other side and hit you just like we've got now with these spears. So I'd love to see from Lee Nock just, you know, a bit of a stone wall out over towards this forest and then another stone wall up towards this forest and then another one here. You know, you could probably do it with less than 400 stone and it would just seal you up, make you a lot safer, a lot happier uh, because you would be safe. And now take a look at this. We've got more uh, nest of bees just continuing to come out, really demonstrating their prowess. The charge coming in here looking beautifully. We see the nest of bees on the back line still going to be trying to fire off. They've got, they've got their close distance. Charge going to be coming in and cleaning up all of those spears and that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about why those are so damn strong, those uh, those Fire Lancers, they look incredible. The Nest of Bees doing a great job here as well, really getting in their damage. Isn't that beautiful, that sound that we hear firing off? They just sound absolutely sweet, but the Spears look like they're going to be able to overwhelm the enemy unit, so doing a great job there of managing to clean that one up. And now Lee Nock looking like he might be on the back foot, but oh my god! They just, they, they like rugby players. If you guys don't know what rugby is, Google search rugby biggest hits, and that's what we've got right now, but it's absolute destruction. These guys are falling over like they've been hitting with a shoulder from Hopawade. It's been terrible. Oh my <laughs> lord, that was absolutely ludicrous damage. There's like just 12 or 14 spears that just all fall over at the same time. Oh my lord. Lenok looking incredibly strong right now. Villagers, villagers, villagers. Oh, they gotta be careful. Boom, 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 boom. The Vega boys are out. <laughs> Oh, this is disgusting. This is an absolute cleanup. That one, no, 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 not the keep. No, not the keep. If he gets that, that's 800. Oh my God, that was 800 stone that just vanished right there into oblivion. Oh my gosh, that was a huge pickup for Lenok. Lenok now beginning to push back towards his opponent's base as well. Only got these palisade walls up. Needs to get stone walls up if he, if he really wants to be serious about holding these pushes because Lenok is going to start to split him and that's when the difficulties are really going to start to build up for him. Another castle going to be coming down here towards the south. There are only a few villages here, so he could potentially look to take them out. Uh, the, he's got to be careful with these uh, fire lancers. There's just not enough of a mass for them, and you do have to have this critical number. Uh, normally about 10 fire lancers is where the critical number hits. Just because of the way that the AOE works, you kind of need, need it to uh, empower all of your units and utilize it together. But you can see these fire lancers are not too long for this world. So many reinforcing spears coming out now for Blue Elephant. We'll take a look exactly what he's got. He's still got 11 barracks right Right now so it's got uh, got got quite a bit of uh, production coming in and look at the resources that he's got in the bank I wouldn't be surprised to see if he's just got a whole bunch of upgrades coming through just getting random upgrades at this point plus three coming in for him as well still got a lot of gold for him to potentially access here this dock is still up towards the south dock up here towards the north despite being hit multiple times you really got to give Lee not credit he has done an absolutely incredible job and now we've actually got the keep and a mosque being built next to it is he trying to extend the network out towards this keep if so he's gonna have to extend pretty darn quickly but uh, now this spear, these spears are going to look to try and take down this war junk. Going to have no problem with it. This war junk sitting a little bit too close, unfortunately. And uh, that dock does go down for the 27th time this game. Actually, that's the dock that I was thinking about right there. Needs to get a demo ship out. If you've got a demo ship out right here, it could defend this quite well. All right, we'll take a look over at Lenox base. We'll see what he's up to. So beginning to add farms now. Uh, not the most farms in the game I've ever seen. I'll say that much. Obviously doesn't need a lot of farms because he's still got fishing boats out on the map uh, and which is going to be providing him a steady trickle of food. Uh, but uh, I will just note, he's sitting very, very low when it comes to his resource count at the moment. So obviously he's got a lot of nest of bees, but I would really like to see him. He's only on 75 villages. What you doing, Leenok? You forget to make villages or something, mate? What's going on? University has come out. Uh, doesn't look like there is... Excuse me. I needed to sneeze. My air conditioning is on. It is getting a little bit cold. I'm going to have to turn that off. Give me a second here. All right. She is off. She is off. <laughs> you know when the sneeze comes and it's just about to hit you and then it like backs off for a second. You're like, hey, come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. 
All right, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, that was that was too cold. Now take a look down towards the south of the map. We have got a huge amount of spears beginning to, to come in on towards Lenox base, but so many Nesta Bees. Nesta Bees need to wake up. They do wake up. They managed to get the majority of their shots off. Look at the damage, the AOE coming out for China. It's absolutely huge. He's going to clean up this entire mass. In the blink of an eye, the entire mass of spears has completely been desecrated. Desecrated? Decimated? I don't even know. You desecrate a grave. You don't desecrate a spear. That's for sure, Drongo. But uh, now complete, <laughs> complete destruction coming out there for the Nesta bees wow so much aoe coming out for him he looks like he's playing an mmo really it looks like there's a mage in there he's probably a frost mage at this point just spamming blizzards or something i guess that's an aoe spell but up towards the north now we've got a keep that's going down more keeps across the map there was a second one that got put down and look at all of the archery ranges what's he thinking about is he thinking about hand cannonies potentially maybe that's what he's going to go with oh you know what he's probably going to go with uh, he could go for uh, for tower war elephants in fact i think war elephants just against this composition would be very very strong if, if i was playing into this as blue elephant i would be going tower war elephants or so, sorry i'd be going war elephants and i think springles i think that's probably just going to be your best bet Springwoods to try and deal with the nest of bees, but then I guess you just get run around though, don't you? You've got, if you've got tower war, or if you've got war elephants, you're just going to get completely destroyed. And now take a look at the villagers. Oh my god, in the blink of an eye, the villagers get completely destroyed. Fire Lance is going to be doing their best to come in here and hold, and you can see the spears. Oh, this is going to be destruction. Please don't do it, Leenok. Don't do him like that. More of a raid now coming down, and these spears manage to shrub this site. Destruction about to happen. Look at the look at the nest of bees. They just they pepper that rain in. They combo so well. This Chinese composition in the late game is so difficult to deal with. How do you even deal with this? Because you've got mobility from the fire lancer. Nothing that you no infantry is going to be able to deal with this nest of bees. Fire lancer is going to be able to run in on top of the spring lords. If you did have war elephants, they just run away from them, and then you could probably like get bombards out or something and deal with the war elephants that way. It's like how does he even deal with this? Blue Elephant's going to have a tough time. More spears up towards the north. I guess that is one of his options. He can split. If he's just splitting like crazy, he's going to be okay. But, you know, once again, I talk about this. He needs to get stone walls up towards this northern position. You have to, have to, have to wall on Nagari. You have to. Otherwise, you're just going to get completely blown apart. Now we do have those bombards coming out, as we mentioned. Blue Elephant stacking up quite a few resources. Lee Knock, on the other hand, only still got 131 population. Compare that to a Blue Elephant. He's looking quite strong. Despite that, the score differences at this point are still looking very much in favor of Lee Knock, despite him having so many more resources uh blue elephant it's, it's in crazy it's crazy it's in crazy it's crazy it's incredible i don't know exactly what it is nesta bees coming in look at that rain peppering down on the tower war elephants now we've got the elite spearmen looking like they might be getting ready to do a, a force march here they come looking to get in on top not a lot of spears out here i'll be honest with you guys only 41 ideally you probably want to have about a thousand <laughs> to deal with this but now those nesta bees coming in beautiful damage that comes out and look at that all of the spears managing to get cleaned up not a pretty good charge there from the fire lances the majority of those fire lances are going to go down so nesta bees actually going to have a bit of a trouble time here because they're going to have to escape from the tower war elephants and they're going to have absolutely no trouble getting rid of them nesta bees getting a nice little speed boost and now the fire lance is really coming out boom 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 venga boy bus is here or venga bus rather and look at this beautiful rain that we've got coming in from the nest of bees and how does blue elephant deal with this at this point bombards on the back line still doing so much work this gunpowder army is insanity uh i don't need, actually uh, elite fire lancers gunpowder i don't think they are i mean technically they are they've got like the gunpowder there they're doing the boom 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 but you know realistically are they gunpowder i don't think so uh spears now beginning towards the north nest of bees going to be coming out as well nice little pickup here for Ling knock if he manages to do it nest of bees getting a pretty decent wonderful split right there from his opponent blue elephant really demonstrating his prowess when it comes to the micro now we've got the reinforcing uh, the reinforcing fire lances they're going to be able to clean up the majority of these forces villages potentially going down not a lot of villages here for Ling knock Ling knock on 52 villages what is happening happened to Ling economy right now he needs to be on double that he needs to be on triple that Ling knock what are you doing wake up my friend you've got an economy that you need to build my friend you're sitting at 32 minutes into the game you've only got 52 villages 53 villages get into that song dynasty start pumping out those villages jeez louise that is not pretty he's only sitting on one town center he's playing as china with one town center and now back towards the main fight we've got happening we've got plenty of elite fire lances doing their best bombard on the back line gonna be taken out needs to pull villages to heal these bad boys up fire lances are needing to fall back especially with these nest of bees they gotta get out of here you can see them running away 1.29 movement speed they've got that yuan dynasty buff they've got that siege movement speed buff and now take a look at this beautiful fight that we've got coming in the nest of bees raining down on the enemy so many so many explosives going off here china's composition is absolutely beautiful it is unstoppable this right here this is the exodia combination from china it, it, how do you defeat this i genuinely do not know what what is the counter to this if you've got any idea leave a comment in the chat or leave a comment in in, the, in, in youtube down below let me know because i'm 
I, I got no idea. Lingnok is rolling over his opponent despite having 59 villagers. He's literally got no villagers. Now going to be coming out with Elite Spearman char Force March Charge. They're coming out at 2.5 movement speed. Managed to get in on top of a nice little split here. Nesta B's got to be careful. They're not falling back. He actually gets a pretty decent split here. Manages to take out two of them. The third one looking to go down. It does go down. All of the Nesta B's have gone down. All the Fire Lancers have gone down. And now the Nesta B's are trying their best to get out of them. Look at look how fast they managed to go though. It's ludicrous how fast they are. No reinforcements coming in for them. A single Nesta B's back here. Going to be able to fire back down on this Bombard Cannon. Not going to be able to save it though. And I tell you what, this is an absolutely crazy game. What is going on? Lee, knock your plane out of your mind, my friend. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need a drink. Give me a second here, fellas. This is, this is crazy. Mm. Oh my lord. Oh my god. I'm sweaty. I need to turn that air conditioner back on. Ooh. It's becoming like, <laughs> what's the, like, the side story? Like, the air conditioner side story? <laughs> like, what's the temperature on the air conditioner, Drongo? <laughs> I can just see the comments now. Oh, gosh, you guys. All right, we'll, we'll take a look over at his opponent, see how he's doing. 78 villages for him, so not a huge difference when it comes to economy for these players. But keep in mind, he's playing the Delhi. He gets a lot of free tech, so that's going to give him a significant bonus. No hand... <laughs> I love that, like, it, it, definition of, like, insanity is trying the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Is he? What's he going to do? Like, I, I'm expecting, like, we're just going to see a crazy spearman split with, like, force charge. Like, you're going to have spears down here. Actually, he does have it. He, he could, like, charge in from every direction. That's what I'm expecting to see. But at the same time, like, we've got a pretty good choke point here for, for uh, Lee Nock. So, really, he's doing quite well. Sitting on 69 villages. Nice. Uh, a lot of farms out for him. He needs to get more wood choppers out. That's for sure. Only got the, the two town centers out. Actually, I take it back. I think I said earlier one town center. He's sitting on one town center. He was sitting on two the whole time. I think there would have been a, a second town center on the screen as well. So, I am blind. Now, we've got those spears coming in. Looking to connect up with the the uh, the Fire Lancers. Fire Lancers doing a great job here, though. Nesta Bees on the back line. Looking to get their shots off. Not going to be able to blow their loads as the Spears do get a little bit too close. And now those Fire Lancers are going to be trying to take them down. Actually managed to clear it up pretty well. A nice little spread in here from Lee Nock. So his composition is looking strong. And we have seen a huge battle over this part of land. And now towards the north, we've got another raid coming in from these Spears. Hey, Lee Nock, you got to watch your villagers, mate. You, you barely got enough as it is. <laughs> can, we just get, can we just get a single wall going up right here, please, Lee Nock? Please just do it for the people. The people want to see a wall. The people need to see a wall at this point. If you put a wall here, at least that forces your enemy to, like, bring a bombard or so something or an elephant. Just something that, that, you know, you have to... They have to address it. They just can't keep running spears into your base and killing villagers like this. And now you're getting forced to run back 22 Fire Lancers just to clean up three spears. And it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good because it kind of leaves you open on the front line another keep keep going to be going down on this sacred site down here towards the south as well so looking to shore up that position he's already got one to the north with a keep safely on it actually still gathering up berries despite we're, us being 36 minutes into this game uh, a lot of fishing boats out right now as well 24 fishing boats in the middle uh lean knock no fishing boats up towards the north it looks like he's lost both of these positions uh keep in mind these do regenerate you can see the deep water fish are regenerating slowly so 1250 on these bad boys 520 550 on those ones so it takes time but they do eventually come back up Speaking of taking time, Fire Lancers hunting. Fire Lancers may be finding some villagers here. This is seconds before disaster. All the villagers go down. They all fall down at the same time. It looks like a mangonel shot going off, and they manage to slowly but steadily poke the rest of the villagers down. It looks absolutely terrible for Blue Elephant. He's sitting on 60 villagers right now. 133 military pop. Actually, it's bugged. I just remember, uh, uh, you know, Delhi have got a lot of bugs. One of the bugs is their military population. I don't know exactly how it works, but something, something is... Uh, probably villagers count for military pop, you know, you know how the deli bugs work. It's going to be something like that, or, or like trees count for military pop. Any 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 tree that has been chopped by a deli counts for military population. <laughs> something like that. All sacred sites have now been captured. Lee Nock deciding to burn the, down the gate to nowhere. It's a, he's, he's, he's got a specific issue with gates. He doesn't like gates. It doesn't matter if the gate isn't holding anything back. He has a problem with it. Or maybe he just wanted to find the apex of the corner. Now going to be coming in. Madrasa is down for his opponent as well. Double Madrasa actually going to be out here. Getting both of these upgrades. We've got geometry coming in. We've got Court Architects coming in, so he's looking to get that extra health point on those Palisade walls, and still no stone walls coming out for either player at this point. Can one of you guys just make stone walls, please? Can I just see a little bit of stone walls? You guys are rank 12, rank 15 on the ladder. Like, do either of you guys know what a stone wall is? And now <laughs> Lee Nock just running through his opponent's base, burns down the <laughs> burns down the wooden walls, and then he's like, all right, I'm out. 
I'm like, <laughs> more villagers, we just missed it go down. But I, I love that he like comes through here. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna fuck this gate in particular, run through the opponent's base, fuck that gate in particular, and then just like continues on his way out. He's like, all right, that's me. I'm done. I'm outie. Uh, <laughs> great stuff from Lee Nock. And now we hear those bombards firing off. There's so many castles around here. So we've got one, two, three. A fourth one was there. And now we've got some, uh, the keep doing some damage. He does have the, uh, the boiling oil. He's got to be careful. But in addition to that, also got the, uh, the cannon, uh, emplacements that are out now he's going to pay extra for those those things do not come in free i don't think we can actually see any on the map uh because he's actually got rid of or got all of those take a look at this technology 12 minutes left on that bad boy <laughs> oh geez uh all of these fire lances are going to be going down i don't think there's any two ways about it yeah they all get poked uh they're gonna be finding a, a nice little gray but 196 population now for blue elephant and he does have blue elephants so you know he's living up to his name at this point blue elephant really demonstrating that he, he is a very serious role player. But now the the we look over towards Lee Nock and we see what Lee Nock sees. He's moving up towards the north. Not a lot of villagers uh, chopping on wood, and that's really what he's been short of. Every single time we've checked in with him, he's had plenty of food. Uh, normally has a fair amount of gold, but uh, primary issue has been that food or that, that wood count. But now we see more raids coming in too. Again, on the north, it's like a, a story that just continues to repeat itself. Leenok having a really tough time here. Uh, six, seven SDBs out, three bombards out. I don't think that's going to be enough bombards. Ideally, I'd like to see like a fourth or a fifth bombard out just to be able to one-shot these Tower War Elephants. But now we've got a bit of a tough time because these Tower War Elephants are going to be able to tank very well. Nesta B is going to be going down here, unfortunately. Not paying attention. you got to wake up. Lee Nock moving towards the north once again, overreacting. 29 Fire Lancers coming up here, looking to chase this away, but he doesn't even realize that down towards the south there is an attack happening. Lee Nock, you got to wake up, my friend. you got the Tower War Elephants coming into your base. They're looking to siege down this keep, and now now Leenok finally going to be turning around up towards the north. He's going to be able to clean this up, but you know, I think a blue elephant has done a great job at distracting his enemy. A beautiful siege now coming in as well here for Leenok. Doing a wonderful job as those blue elephants really just get taken to school. And look at all of the wonderful uh, rain of fire that we've got coming in right now. So many units for Blue Elephant, but at the same time, I really don't think it's going to be enough. There's just so much siege that sits back here. He's going to have to fall back. We see those spears managing to connect in with the Fire Lancers, but the Fire Lancers are going to be happy. Actually, a nice little raid up here towards the north of the base as well. And now, the Nest of Bees really looking to move forward and look to be able to take out these units. A lot of elephants that re remain, or rather Blue Elephants, I should say. Where are the rest of those Fire Lancers? There they are, finally coming back. This is what's going to be able to clean up this party, because I tell you what, Blue Elephant, he is not invited to this side of the map, and Ling Nock has got to usher him out as he has done repeatedly. Both players still sitting on about 9.5 and 9,900 9, scores. So scores are incredibly close in this game. Leenok still somehow... Uh, uh, you know what is absolutely insanity to me? Leenok has been, been behind for like the last 20 minutes by 60 population. And he's still been holding on. How does he even do it? How does he even do it? It is ludicrous. Is it? Is it just that Fire Lancers are that strong? Maybe they're just that effective in such low numbers? It's got to be it. Like, it, it's... Leenok should have lost this hours ago. I don't even know how he's still surviving. And now up towards the north, we've got ourselves a bit of a push. If, you know, if, if there were stone walls down here, I could totally get behind it. He's going to be throwing up another keep. Ideally, he probably needs to throw down, like, three keeps here. As soon as he pushes up towards the north and his enemy sees that, I wouldn't be surprised if we'd have a push now coming back towards his base. We may potentially have a bit of a base race coming out right now as the Fire Lance is actually finding the very first stone wall of the game. Going to be looking to get through it, but there's Bombards here going to be looking to back him up. I think he could actually be going for this. I think we may have a base race on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. We are having it right now. We are having a base race for dinner. I know that we've got base... <laughs> All the kids want a base race, but we've got a base race at home, and this is what it is. Lance is going to be running in. Beautiful connection there, managing to kill all of those spears on the front line. And now he's going to be trying to trying his best to hold on. Ling Nock, a lot of resources in the bank. You can see all of the stables coming out. How many stables does he have? He's only got six stables. Ling Nock, put more stables down. What did your mum tell you? She said, make stables, son. Make stables. And obviously not enough stables have come out. Ling Nock still going to be trying to get through here. A lot of spears going to be coming out and looking to get in on the action as well. Nesta B's out here. Not going to be able to do a lot of siege. That's for sure. And now Ling Nock in a difficult position. We're going to turn it over to the landmark track. And we're going to see how many are left. Four for Blue Elephant. Five for Ling Nock. And now Ling Nock going to be losing the majority of this infrastructure here. We see the Spirit Way is here going to be providing that discount for the, the Fire Lancers, but unfortunately, it's not going to be for too much longer. Fire Lancers now trying to come in <laughs> against the Blue Elephantos, but not going to have a lot of fun. And moving now towards the Town Center, he has got his eyes on the prize. He is really coming in for the Space Trade. Lee not going to be having to retreat, I think, at this point, as he begins firing down at the Dow. And uh, the Bombard's going to be heading back. Lee Nock really probably scratching his head at this point in time and wondering what the hell he's got to do because he's got no infrastructure that's left. Fire Lance is going to be underneath the town center managing to get some decent shots in. But so many Tower War Elephants coming out for, from Blue Elephanto. No surprise that this is what he is doing. 
He's looking incredible, and I don't think that Lee Nock's going to be able to stop him. I think at this point, there are too many blue Elephantos running around the base of Lee Nock. He's, he's looking incredible, but at the same time, it was a poor decision for him to move up towards the north without having any walls down towards the south and, or vice versa. Let's just say that much. Too many times we saw him distracted. Multiple town centers here under attack. We see the war elephants, the blue elephants or blue tower elephants trying their best to, uh, to deal with the infrastructure of his opponent. We hear town center one going down. Town center two is almost down. It's sitting at about uh, 40% health points at the moment going after all the infrastructure and you can see how little damage is actually taken from these elephants actually i take that back it's probably going to get two shot by these cannons these bombards a lot of damage here but uh, they do manage to bypass he's got to be careful villagers moving across to come and heal this one up as well uh, they're going to be able to keep it alive and more fire lances going to be coming in and it slowly is focusing down these war elephants uh, but at the same time there's just war elephants absolutely rampaging through his base it looks like a tiny little town in thailand right now war elephants are going everywhere they are not happy you know you hear those stories and it's like the the elephant that was tied up at the circus all of a sudden gets loose and then goes on a rampage and well let's just say it it, it it's not friends with everybody. It is the opposite of friends with everybody. It's the exact same thing right now. He's had enough with the Chinese. He said, Lee Nock, you, you, came, you, you sent one too many fire lances to my house and I've had it with you. Lee Nock looking absolutely... It looks like he's going to have to throw him in the towel any second. The majority of his landmarks still stand, but at this point in time, his economy is in shambles. His landmarks have now been destroyed, so he's going to be losing. Actually, that's Lee Nock. To, was that Lee Nock? I don't even know if that was Lee Nock or... No, it, it was the main town center going down and Lee Nock taps out. The game is over. Lee Nock going to be going down. Blue Elephant, gonna be victorious there. Fellas, if you have enjoyed this game, make sure you leave a like on the video because I tell you what, I'm out of breath. And quite frankly, <laughs> I'm absolutely tired. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Whew.